As part of our series focused on drought management for ranchers, one of the most critical aspects is having your ranch designed in a way that allows your stocking rate to be flexible from one year to the next. We all know that forage production in, in, these, uh, in this western environment, in the high plains, can be extremely variable from years of abundance to, to a lot of years of below average or, or shortages. Uh, so designing the, the stocking strategy for your ranch to be able to take advantage of the good years but also not be stuck buying expensive feed in the bad years is a critical part of having a well-functioning, profitable ranch. Uh, Mike, what are some strategies ranchers might use to, to do this? Well, an arguable number is that maybe 60% of your um, livestock uh, inventory might be what you would call the permanent uh, herd, uh, your cow-calf herd, and then about 40% of it would be the flexible part of that, of which there are several different options that you could take. One of which, probably and one of the more profitable looking ones, is to uh, retain ownership on your calves so that uh, in a good year, in an average year, you'd be keeping those all the way through until they're uh, long yearlings. And then moving them into the feedlot. Um, alternatively though, you might sell them as calves and then uh, buy stockers, which you would buy however many you needed to um, utilize the forage that was going to be available in that year. In a dry year, you might have none. A wet year, you might have um, 40% or more. Another option is to look at dry cows. Um, uh, some folks do that and it seems to work out okay. Um, so there's several kind of things that you could probably do. Um, in a, a droughty situation, of course, there's also the option of early weaning and um, some of these kind of things that can cut down on the forage requirements. All right, so I think this is what it look, would look like in a graphical format where of the total AUMs or grass on your ranch, about 60% of that could be dedicated to a cow-calf herd or some kind of base herd. And then the other 40% would be this flex herd that could be easily liquidated in years of drought. Some examples of that, like Mike said, might be stalkers, coal cows, maybe perhaps those open cows that you find in the fall instead of selling them at the low in the market in the fall. You uh, turn them back out, uh, graze them out, and put a little weight on them and sell them in after the first of the year uh, when the market's generally, usually a little stronger. And then another option might be some take-in cattle uh, or, or some cash rent cattle, something like that. But uh, I think it's important that, that long uh, research done at the University of Wyoming that models long-term scenarios showed a ranch that was run with this mix of a 60% to a base herd and a 40% to a flex herd had higher profit levels, more consistent profit levels than a ranch that was trying to, uh, to run a, a ranch that was more heavily stocked with that base herd. So uh, this is, a, I think, a, a drought management strategy from the strategic level of your ranch decisions where you're making that ranch more easily flexible in years of drought where this flex herd can be uh, more easily liquidated um, during those years. So. Any other comments on that, Mike? Well, yes, I would add it to this flexibility thing that um, a later calving season than is fairly typical um, provides a lot more options from the standpoint of where you can graze or what you can utilize for forage in the wintertime with your cow herd, which could make a big difference in a a drought situation that would certainly cut down on the amount of hay that you might possibly need to keep those cows through the winter. Um, so um, there's a, a whole ranch situation that you could uh, sort of plan through that would make it a little bit more bulletproof whenever drought situations arose. Uh, but Certainly the flexibility in the herd is one of the really, really big things that you need to be thinking about. 
Okay, this has been Dallas Mountain, Mike Smith with University of Wyoming Extension, sharing some drought management strategies with you.